One of the things that we've emphasized in this course is how important it is to be proactive when it comes to heading off problems that could in pop up in the desktop support environment. One of the great ways that we can do that, and often just part of our job, is to make sure that we're engaging in the careful, effective monitoring of desktops. By the time you're done with this nugget, you'll be able to describe what might be used to monitor a desktop system and the kinds of things that we'd be looking for. For enterprises that are on real tight budgets, there's more good news here, and that is that monitoring tools, robust monitoring tools, are often built right into operating systems these days. Here we are in the Windows 10 environment, and notice a tool that's given to us in the operating system is called Performance Monitor. If I go to this Performance Monitor node right here within the tool, you can see that they set it up to default to be showing me the process processor utilization on this system. And this is pretty exciting data for me. Here I am recording this nugget for you, and I am not exceeding about 30% for the processor time on this device. So that's a really, really good sign because this is some pretty intense work that I'm doing recording this nugget for a system. Now, what if I wanted to also see some information about memory? Well, I could go to this performance monitor tool and click on this add button in order to add an additional counter involving memory. So let me scroll in here through all these various things that we could monitor. Let me expand the memory option, choose percentage of the committed bytes in use of many that I could pick, and we're going to add this to our display. I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and notice now we're getting that information as well. One issue I kind of have with that is the fact that it's in the same color as my CPU information. So let me right click that and go to properties. And let's just turn that line to blue here quickly so we can better distinguish it. Now what I'm going to do is create some activity on this device so we can see its impact on both the CPU and the percentage of committed bytes in use of memory. So let me fire open a web browser as an example, and let's then go over back to our display, and wow, look at that. There was a temporary massive spike in the CPU utilization as that web browser opened. There was a little bump up in the necessary memory, and then notice the CPU really settled down dramatically, and the memory consumption stays kind of consistent as you might guess that it would. We can start to really develop what we call a baseline of performance. What does normal performance of this system look like? And once you've established that clear cut baseline, you can really begin to see when things go out of the norm. And you could even go in and configure alerts to be sent to you in this from this tool when something goes a little haywire. So we might set it up where this tool notifies us if CPU percentage stays above, let's say, 50% for a sustained duration of time. Because based on our even just quick analysis here, sure, we might spike above 50%, but it would be very short-lived if the machine was behaving in a healthy manner. A tool like Performance Monitor is certainly great to see what's happening in real time on our device and maybe even get notifications. But when it comes to notifications, another powerful tool that we have in Microsoft Windows is the Event Viewer. This is really slick. And you notice it has the ability to give us information about what's happening with certain aspects of the system. For instance, notice there's a Windows Logs section and applications that might be having problems can report events here. We can see security related events, setup related events, system related events. And notice that all events are not created equal. So some will be very passive and informational. Others will be warnings, and we can have even greater levels of severity inside of the event viewer. Checking these logs periodically will often help us be much more proactive about problems that are starting to develop. 
a little bit of monitoring can go a long way to caring properly for your desktop systems and to make sure that you have a minimal of really big issues pop up without warning. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.